so we're going upstairs to meet more and more. Hi guys and welcome to Afric Swag TV. My name is Ebs and I am with Joshua and Senna from Morts and More. Guys, how are you guys today? We're good. We're well, good. It's kind of early. Yeah. I'm a bit tired, but yeah. feeling good. Yeah. yeah. What does Morts and More stand for? Firstly, because when I when I came across Morts and More, I was just like, yes, what is that? Well, what, okay. what about? I'd say um, what small stands for the art of dressing well. Okay. I mean, the whole reason we got into this really was a case of we were unable to find ways to look great yeah. by shopping on the high street. Okay. So we sort of went around different avenues to create something which guys like us yeah. could look better yeah. on our budgets really. Okay. So yeah. So great answer, but I think she was asking what they actually. Oh. Question. Well, what objection. Objection. <laughs> it's not a great answer. That's something wrong with it. Yes. <laughs> what does what more awesome more mean? What does it stand for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll answer the question yeah. that you meant. Okay, cool. Yeah, so more awesome more is actually um, derived from both of our names. Okay. So, for example, my surname is More2, okay. and people call me Mortz for short. Okay. Um, his surname is Umorin, and I always said it wrong. Umorin. And so in the middle is more, okay. so it's more and more, which ah, is both of us derived from surnames. Very smart. That was a long way of going around. And you, and you guys yeah. are from where? Where are you guys from? So originally I'm from Nigeria, okay. born in the UK, and yeah, I'm from Ghana. Again, born and very Ghana, raised in the UK. Black star. Yes. Sir. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. And how did you guys meet? How did you guys come together? How did you guys know each other? We've known each other for years, over yeah, ten years now. Fifteen so years since, or so. Since Fifteen. College. Yeah. Mm. Same yeah, we went college together college. Okay. and yeah. university. Okay. Don't try and work out our ages. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you guys, so obviously, I mean, to, to be into fashion, do you guys have uh, the same kind of interest? So, were you guys into fashion from way well, back? Or? I wouldn't say into fashion, but okay. um, dressing well, yes. Dressing well, okay. But um, even from way back then, it was a case of we were just friends, one anything. Right. But where it, where it derived from was having to wear suits for work. Mm -hmm. right. And trying to look good for work as well. Okay. So obviously, trying to look good on a general basis in casual clothing, yes. Yeah. However, that wouldn't drive us into obviously down the fashion route. Yeah. Like wanting to look good, in, wanting to manufacture jeans or anything like that. But it's okay. wearing suits for work. Something struck a chord within mm. within us. It's like, something yeah. different. That yeah. Really yeah. Tell us a bit more about that. So, so how you guys started together and, and um, coming into the the, the clothing and. So yeah, it was um, again after university, two thousand and eight. Uh, we were all working in professional environments. We actually started originally as a company called My Suit. Okay. Um, this was in 2009. In 2008, the concept was launched um, because one of our previous business partners came across a traveling tailor right. uh, who came into his workplace and didn't really provide what they were hoping for. Yeah. Um, and then as he looked around, he was just like, you know, we can kind of do this, we can do this better. We can add some style to it customer service and so we all kind of came together because you know we did all have that um, that drive to be better we all knew that we wanted to own our own business and it just once we sat down it just made sense wow. so we set about find our, our own tailors studying in studying the industry learning exactly what it took to make a great suit um, and to make a great suit for each and every individual and um, from there we've just really kind of rolled with it, we've grown, we've learned along the yeah. way. It's been a long journey, we're still learning each Definitely. and every day but yeah. Um, yeah, we're still very passionate about what we do. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, as I mean, as Joshua mentioned, 2011, yeah. um, our third year anniversary has actually just gone this weekend. Um, uh, we transitioned to more and more yeah. and since then, yeah, things have been have been on the up and yeah. up. Well, they've always been on the up and yeah. up, but yeah, continually cool. so. And and so so in regards to because you mentioned tailoring and stuff like that. So mm, yeah. So so what ex so what's like day to day life at Watson More? So do you guys actually sit down and, and make them, or do you draw and design them, or how how does it all run? Mm. See, when we become to Watson More, I tend to say we run a tailoring company as okay. opposed to we're tailoring ourselves because yeah. we don't actually cut fabrics, so anything right. like that, we pretty much design. 
We and design then, and so outsource the rest. So what, sit and draw kind yes. of design? Yes, so pretty much okay. you'll sit down and um, the look of a suit. So yeah. a dad will come in and say, well look, I need a suit for a wedding or a special occasion or, or even simply for work. Yeah. And we'll then start going through fabrics, the look of the suit, the different cuts, the different patterns, and then we pretty much put it all together. And that's it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right, so I've got a question for you guys. So um, on your website, uh, on the More Some More website, I came across a quote saying, accessible luxury without compromising on style and quality. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Well, what that means is, like, yeah, did I write that quote? You wrote it, so <laughs> I'm going to answer that one. I thought this time would come. But, um, <laughs> no, what, what it means is pretty much a case of guys are now able to get something which is much uh, much higher quality than on the high street right. without having to spend extortionate costs. Okay. Because in the past, what happened was when we were shopping on the high street for our suits, okay. we, we wanted something better. Mm -hmm. So when we looked for something better, it was far too expensive. Okay. So what we now have done is we've sort of accessed something which is almost as good as the higher end, yeah. but reduce the cost dramatically. Wow. And that's where it comes in. So in terms of having accessible luxury, what it says is rather than buying a suit off the rack, you can now have one made from scratch to your body measurements yeah. without having to pay. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So, so you guys are not really expensive. <laughs> well, you're... No. So very, very competitive in terms yeah. of okay, pricing. Cool. Um, and what we offer because there, there are a number of companies which people may look at as being comparable to what we do yeah. however um, most of those companies are made to measure okay. now we're semi bespoke and then there's true bespoke right now where we sit is a made to measure company will essentially have a suit already made yeah. you come in they take your measurements they put a suit on you they'll taper it up and then they'll make it according or they'll adjust it according to your measurements. Okay. So it's something preset. There's only limit there's a limitation as to what you can actually yeah. change on that. Okay. However, with what we do, everything is made from scratch. Okay. We essentially allow our clients to dictate exactly what they, what they, they want. want their suit to look like. Okay. We're obviously on hand to advise yeah. to show them what's going to be best, what will work, especially okay. for the occasion they're going for, yeah. um, and then create it from that. Okay. And then, um, as I mentioned, the other level is True Bespoke, which is where everything is handmade, yeah. um, and you know you can do essentially what we do, yeah. but it costs a lot more. Okay. Yes. So. And rightly so, because it takes yeah. a long time. It takes yeah. a long time. Completely handmade takes. Yeah. It's a. It's, yeah, yeah. It takes a long time. So what? So what kind of stuff? So you. <clears throat> I mean, what kind of stuff do you need to consider uh, uh, when making um, outfits for people? So, uh, body shape, mm -hmm. all of that stuff. What? What kind of? I mean, we take around 30 different measurements um, in order to create the suit for the person so everything is taken into consideration so you know there's certain people who come to us and they're like well I'm a 43 chest what can you do for me no we, we need more than that it's not a simple case of walking in and saying this is our chest measurement this is my waist measurement yeah no we have we take into account um, chest stomach hips shoulders sleeve length uh, across back um, you know, measurements. yeah, forearm, yeah. Yeah. armhole, all of those. And just, just to interject there, how is it? How important is it? Because uh, I know there are, I mean, a lot of guys that, that like to dress, which is good, yeah. mm -hmm. good fashion sense and stuff. Um, um, and there's this really kind of weird thing about uh, not wearing, you know, how bad it looks when you don't wear a fitted suit, like when it doesn't look well on you. I mean, how important is that to have it look good? I mean fitted and all that stuff, is, 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 is it very effective? It's the most important thing when it comes to a suit. I mean, you can have a great quality fabric suit, yeah. but if the fit is off, it's, it's useless. Right. However, you can have a suit which is poor quality fabric, which we don't do, obviously, um, but if the fit is on point, yeah. people will notice. Okay. Um, yes. So fit, fit, fit above all else. Okay. So definitely. And, and this stuff? Did you guys design that? What's, what's that? So we didn't design these. These are lapel flowers. It's just extra accessories to to make the suit. Pop. Okay. Yeah. So these um, are you get exclusive. These are new products which yeah. will be oh. coming out very shortly. Um, and so yeah, look out for those. Yeah. Um, but yeah, again, you know, we're all about the details. Okay. Yeah. So the little things that make you stand out from the rest. Right. Exactly. So whether it be again the size of your lapels. Uh, lapel what's, flowers. What's the, I, I have no idea what that is. What, okay, what's lapel is this. Okay. It's, it's, it's so okay. Most people oh, will that. say it's a collar. The collar is at the back, okay. the lapel's at the front. Yeah. 
This will be a peak lapel. Yeah. Okay. And I've yeah, you peak as well. And what, what's that called? Pocket square. Pocket square. Pocket square. Yeah. I should know this, but I, I don't. <laughs> well, you've learned okay. today. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be honest, you've got YouTube videos now, so you should be able to watch yeah. those and learn a bit more about yeah. these mm -hmm. little things. And yeah, and this is what yeah. we want to um, we want to educate people on yes. with all of the different details. So, as Joshua was mentioning, we've launched our YouTube page recently, yeah. in which we're giving style advice. We, um, you know, we invite people to email us in questions, yeah. ask us, you know, those burning desires that that you haven't really been able to find answers for elsewhere yeah. or you've kind of just been like a bit embarrassed to ask um, you know send us across questions because things may have, seem have like have you had any really embarrassing questions like no to be honest with you we've had everything so I wouldn't really say they're embarrassing I think yeah. I don't think there's any silly questions I think people think, but I think they're embarrassing yeah. because they yes. seem obvious okay, yeah. but they're not to everybody it's okay. not this is the thing I think because we've been doing it for so long it's obvious to us but yeah. it's not so much to everyone just simply by the nature of the questions people ask us yeah. like what is the lapel okay. like to us we think yeah, everyone knows that. Well, no, it's not. It's not the case. So people it's even question. not knowing what the difference between a peak lapel, a martial lapel, and a short lapel. So again, these are things that we cover during our consultations with yeah. clients. We get asked them all the time, yeah. right. which is why we said, okay, there's got to be a better way for us okay. to educate people because yeah. not enough people know this. It yeah. sounds simple to us but when we ask people, "Would you want a peak lapel, martial lapel?" They're like. What's that? that? Yeah. So it's another way to connect with our audience. Mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Definitely. So, yeah, it's just another avenue. Okay. So, so, of, I mean, when so when I saw your videos online, I was just like, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, however, so so the ladies. Yes. Well, what have you guys got in the pipeline for for, for ladies? I, I, it's happening. We get asked that. every day. Yes. So, so what it is, is we can cater for ladies as it is at the moment. Mm -hmm. okay. However, what you notice, if you go onto our website, you won't see any stock designs that we've got where ladies can see examples of things we've done. Right. So I think what okay. we have for the ladies coming forward is going to be some, some real clear examples of what what's more can do in sort of our, our, twi our spin on the lady suit, more than anything. Okay. So you're going to have possibly six pieces on our website launching at some point next year. But ladies can say, well, look, I want to have that one in that colour with that shape and take okay. this bit out or lift that bit up there. So, I mean, no, I think the key thing for ladies is that we give them a bit more direction. Because yeah. right now, guys have a lot of direction with us. They can look at what we've done and say, well, look, I want that one. Yeah. And this how I spin on it. Whereas with ladies, they're coming in from scratch. And so unless they've got an idea for themselves, yeah. then they're going to have to totally rely on what we say or wear this or And okay. the reason that we don't have a collection for the ladies is because it's a lot more difficult when it comes to a female suit. Okay. It's very much more fashion oriented. I mean, even looking at the jacket you've got, you know, it's not a standard jacket in comparison to, to men's. Okay. You know, you've got no lapel on it, you've got no collar. Yeah. Um, and then again, another thing is women's body shape. You've yeah. got to take into consideration a whole heap That's more right. yeah. when it comes to that. Again, yeah. you've even got shorter sleeves. Men's stuff is very straightforward. Yeah. You know okay. the sleeve length, um, you know the type of lapel, you know the shape. Right. However, women, there's so much more that goes into it. So what we want to make sure is when we actually launch the collection, it's it serves a basis to cover a wide variety while still remaining unique. Yeah. Um, and it's it's not so easy, especially us being guys. Yeah. We're not experts when it comes to women's clothes. So you know we're working with a stylist to actually provide and help us put together those designs. So awesome. that's why it's taken a little while, but, but you know we're all about perfection. It, well, not perfection. We're all about doing it. In the best way. So, where can we find your um, your stuff? Um, so what social media sites. All of them. Yeah. All of them. But so yeah. So check us out. I think the first port call is our website. So mortsmore.com. But then also check out Instagram, Twitter. Um, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, all of the same name, and yeah. Tumblr. Yeah. So and all and Mort and Mort one word. Yeah. So and the word and. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank no you for uh, being on Africa Swag. Uh, guys, make sure you check out our website, africaswag.com. Uh, check us out on uh, Facebook as well. And uh, thank you so much, Joshua. Bye, guys. I can see right through you. You act like you don't want this, but you know that you do. Since he broke your heart, girl, you say you never love again.